Man, I will fold Little Rail into a small package and sit it inside of Kevin Hart and then tie it up with a Gerard Carmichael and punt that. You just have to understand that I'm so attractive that um, I'm attractive to men and women. And so I so reciprocate to my female family. Guys, we all know that you can't go by Cat Williams and expect him not to clap back, right? Well, he's clapping back hard at Lil Real for coming at him and for suggesting he's jealous of Kevin Hart. I just don't understand. I, look, I don't think I'm the finest. Right. But a short uh, with a per Did say they would all pull up to Club Shay after his interview, and he was right Shannon Sharp has hosted quite a few comedians since Kat, including Lil Real, who was out to get Kat anyway Sharp, asked Lil Real when the beef with Sfi got started, and Lil Real responded that it was the interview with Wanda Smith where Kat called him ugly for no reason, like, unprovoked, y'all okay, just listened to what Kat Williams said about Lil Real. I'll let you be a star, Lil Real, but you ugly. <laughs> and, and white people don't believe in ugly stars. They think you have to be somebody that women want to sleep with and men want to be. But because we black, they say, oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rail, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lenox Mall, something. let alone you making a movie stars. Why? Because you know ain't nobody gonna sleep. Y'all, this is the same interview where Kat tore Wanda to pieces after she grilled him about things they agreed not to talk about, including his cases and his kids. My hair is 19 <laughs> inches long and I have no perm. You don't? <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's not a perm. No, it is not. Nice lady. That's come, natural. Come, run, come run one of your gnarled fingers. Well, yeah. <laughs> Only one of our you hands moving while we... While we talk in the rows, Kat also shut down Wanda's suggestion that he spent time in prison by reminding her that he had 19 felonies and no convictions. At one point, he also told Wanda to remove her headphones and wig, to which she told him to take off those old clothes he had on. To that, Cab responded by opening his jacket to show that he was wearing a piece from what he claimed was an as-yet-unreleased Versus collection, and he roasted the hell out of what? Only one of us has twelve dollars worth of jewelry on. No, 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 $12. no, 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 no. That all is available. If you wanna, $12. if you wanna have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to go Sitgo go or Quick Come Trip at any cat. point. Come if you buy cat. two packs of Newport 100s, they will give you everything Wanda has on right now for seven ninety nine, and it comes with a free car. Child, rumor has it that Wanda is still trying to recover from the Cat Williams roast. Anyway. This is the same interview Lil Ra was talking about, where Kat also called him ugly. When asked about the comments during the screening of an episode of his Fox series, Real at the Urban World Film Festival in New York, Lil Real said that he simply felt bad for Kat. He also said, there's a reason why most of us haven't given him jobs. He's so talented, so funny, but I don't know what he's really angry about. The crazy thing is, maybe like five years ago, he pulled me to the side and was like, you're going to be a star one day. Don't let them burn you out. He gave me advice and said I was going to be a star. He probably doesn't even remember that. It's just sad more than anything. Right now, there's a lot of unity in the game. Some of these bitter guys got to get out. And when I tell you that Ra took the comments more seriously than anyone else who was mentioned, he really did, y'all. He also bashed Kat, saying that his breakout character was one where he picked up his friend from a crazy situation. But Kat's breakout character was trying to get laid by a dude who had just been released from jail. Damn the shade. Basically, what Real was trying to put across was that the only reason why Kat is still in the game is because nobody takes him seriously. In another interview with TV One, Lil R also said that Kat gets jobs because he looks like a cartoon character and continued to roast the hell out of him. Among other things that Real also said about Kat, he did say that he believes Kat is jealous of him and basically called his persona fake a few times. Well, well, hit back at Kat again for his ugly comments during his appearance on Club Shay, and he has some pretty strong words himself. Who do Cat Williams think he look like? Like you're not an attractive person. Lil Real stressed that Cat is just a short man with a perm who is not good looking himself. He went on to say that women would respond more to him looking like himself than to Cat Williams with his short stature, a perm, and a mustache. He also seemingly made a reference to Cat claiming that Harvey Weinstein and P. Diddy asked him to party with them. I do think he's jealous of Kevin Hart and... I, and it's so weird because he don't have to be. Like, brother, you are so successful. Mm -hmm. Like, you're one of the most successful stand-up comedians we've ever... It's like, Kat, 
brother, if I'm an ugly, thank God, because that's why nothing happened to me. Ain't nobody approached me. Right. Ain't nobody asked me to do. I guess I'm an ugly, talented. Right. Within the interview, Lil Rat also dragged Cat Williams some more and told a story about running into Dave Chappelle and Cat backstage at the Emmys a few years ago. He said Dave didn't know they were beefing at the time, and the two men just stared at each other without speaking before Cat walked away. Now, Real had said in a previous interview that the reason why Cat walked away was because Dave Chappelle was giving Real his flowers. Well, Shannon also asked Lil if he really thought Cat Williams was jealous of him, and he said no and that he had just been trash-talking. But Real did say that he believes Kat is jealous of Kevin Hart. 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show, there being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? So, about Kevin, Kat made some pointed remarks. He suggested that Kevin's success wasn't entirely organic, labeling him as an industry plant. Kat insinuated that Kevin's trajectory in Hollywood wasn't typical, emphasizing that he already had movie deals lined up upon arriving in Los Angeles. Moreover, Kat raised doubts about the authenticity of Kevin's rise, noting the absence of any recollection of a sold-out Kevin Hart show in Hollywood circles. These comments from Kat shed light on his perception of Kevin's career path, raising questions about the true nature of Kevin's ascent to stardom.